Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be opening up six packs of these Hunchback of Notre Dame trading cards. And I was so thrilled to find these because you don't see merch for this anymore. It's such an underrated movie and I liked it as a child, but it's definitely not one of my favorites because I was more into the princessy movies, which is a big reason why this movie isn't as popular as some of the other Disney movies. But I had dolls, like Barbie type dolls of Phoebus and Esmeralda and... I love those dolls so much and I really really like the show now as an adult even more than I did as a kid. I think it's great and I love the music so I was so thrilled to find these in the store. So let's get to opening them. Alright starting with the first pack. I've never seen anyone open these so I'm not quite sure what to expect other than what I read on the outside of the packaging. Uh, let's try maybe opening from the bottom. Wow, these are actually really tough. <laughs> Here we go. All right, so first up we have Esmeralda and this, wait, is this a sticker? Instructions, punch out each figure, leaving figure attached to A, fold card back at B and C. Insert slots D and E together with panel F behind panel G. What? <laughs> I'm sure I can just figure it out without dealing with that. Okay, so there we have Esmeralda. Let's maybe just look through them because apparently there's more. So we have Laverne. I actually didn't know all the gargoyles names. <laughs> Coin cards. Build a tower. Instructions. Collect all eight build a tower cards. First connect cards 77 and 78 together at C, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So you can construct a backdrop using these cards. This looks like a puzzle card. Instructions. Mix and match top and bottom. Okay. So you can pull it apart and it's like a puzzle. Kiamen. Or not. These do not want to come apart. I'm gonna wreck it. Okay, there we go. That was a little tricky. Next, we have a Quasimodo card. This is what I was looking for, forward to, is just like regular cards. Oh, and you can color it on the back. That's neat. I like that picture. It's full of motion and he looks all happy. It's the same as this one, but it just looks better up close. <laughs> so Quasimodo. Clopin. Oh, yeah, he's awesome. He is cool. I like him. And there's his picture on the back. A little world of buildings and people. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong side. <laughs> okay, so there's Quasimodo and Laverne. Then this one here, it's got people scaling the wall of the cathedral. Oh, Quasi with his little village set. But he looks so sad. Oh, we got two of the same one. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see if the backs are all the same. Oh, no. Text on the back. Still, Quasimodo dreams in his bell tower home. He has carved his own little world of buildings and people. There's a model of the town square, Notre Dame, and figures of the busy people he sees every day from his view atop the bell tower. This one has a little maze on the back. And then this one, yeah, I'm not going to read all the cards. If you do want to read it, just pause the video and take a look there, because otherwise this will take forever. <laughs> Okay, so Laverne is actually not the same as Esmeralda. He is meant to go on your finger or on a pencil top, and he is a finger puppet, basically. I don't think I'm gonna fit my finger in there. But if you had a pencil or something, you can stick them on top. That's what that one's for. Okay, so we'll put the coloring cards here. We'll put our regular cards over here. And then castle cards, puzzle cards, we've got these coin cards. Okay, now that I have a better idea of what to expect, I'll go a little faster through these other packs. 
They're so hard to open. I should maybe just use scissors. My only fear with having all this stuff in the background is that the camera is going to want to focus on the background. So we'll see how this goes. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, that's a pretty one. It says Gypsy Spirit. And we've got Esmeralda and her goat, whose name I can't remember right now. I feel horrible. I think this falls into the category of this card, even though it's got like writing on it. Then we've got Quasimodo up on a pole. And here's what the back says. Then there's the gargoyles looking down from the cathedral. Next we have Quasi and Laverne again. I wonder how many different cards there are. It does say number nine. I'll have to figure that out. Oh, it looks like we've got Clopin again. Quasi again. And another puzzle of the same characters. I guess the coins are just meant to be used as play money for fun. It almost seems like this could be some kind of board game, but I don't think it is. Ooh, Frollo and Victor. Judge Claude Frollo longed to purge the world of vice and sin. And he saw corruption everywhere except within. Sorry. <laughs> Esmeralda again. Oh, man. I mean, she's awesome, but I don't want any dupes. Okay, we already have her built, so we're just going to put her over there. Then we have Jolly. Is that how you say his name? Why? Did, do they say his name in the movie? I can't. Yeah, I'd have to rewatch it. I should have rewatched it. And probably I'm going to watch it tonight now or something or tomorrow, I guess. No, I really want to watch it. Let's pop them up, though. I could have just left them in there, but I already popped out. The first two, I'm kind of wishing I didn't now, but oh well. Here are the coin cards we got. I can't even tell what's the front and what's the back here. Gypsy spirit. Goodbye. Ooh. Moody quasi. Dancing Esmeralda. That's a nice card. I like that one. I apologize for the glare. Like I have a ring light, you can see it. I do have a diffuser on it with paper inside to try to diffuse the light, but I think I have to diffuse it further because it's a little too reflective. So bear with me while I get my setup figured out. Oh, what's this girl's name? Does she even have a name? Just mentions townspeople. She's a townsperson. Ooh, we have Victor and Clopin. And then these ones again. How am I supposed to mix and match if I keep getting the same one? Hmm. And then a castle piece. Or not castle, but psh, cathedral. Time for pack number four. Well, we've got Quasi at the Festival of Fools. It's sad, even though he's happy, because we know it doesn't end happily. Okay. Oh, another Quasimodo card. That's nice. Esmeralda and Phoebus. Here we have, ooh, Judge Claude Frollo. That's a really dramatic one. I like that. Ooh, Esmeralda coloring picture. And another Victor coloring picture. Did I put some of my coloring pictures in the wrong pile? I did, I did. We got a new puzzle piece. There's some kind of... Wait, isn't that the guy who's like, I'm free, I'm free. <laughs> and then he gets trapped again and he's like, dang it. And this is the guy who's beheads people or something. I don't know. 
<laughs> I like this one though. Piece of the cathedral. Coin card. Then we have Hugo. We don't have him yet. These are so fun. There's so much variety. I like it. Hey, did we get a pop-up card like that? Hmm. I thought maybe I missed it, but we did not get one in that pack. So, okay. I'd really like to get Quasimodo, so that'd be cool. Quasimodo and Frollo from Quasi's little tabletop village. So I did get Quasi, just not the Quasi I thought I was getting. And you get two because they're miniature. Oh, that's so neat. I'm going to build these real quick, actually. I think I'm going to cut this with scissors because I feel like I'm going to rip it. Mini Quasi. There he is. And there's Frollo. I like Frollo, not as a person, but <laughs> as a character. I like how he's, he's a true villain. Like you can argue that there's a difference between bad guys and villains. A bad guy would be someone who has a redeemable personality. Like maybe they're, the antagonist of the movie but then they turn good at the end or they realize the error of their ways Frollo is a villain because he never he never redeems himself and so yeah I just have a fascination with Disney villains and just villains in movies in general for the pencil one we have Laverne again I'll just leave him in his card we've got more coins here's our cathedral piece I should check for duplicates after um, I can already see it's a duplicate with this one, I think. Yeah. And, ooh, we have a dog with a hat. Or is he, a, yeah, he's a dog. <laughs> and then a lady. Cool. It's different than one we already have. We got a Frollo coloring card. Ooh, and the goat. Jolly. Actually, yeah, okay, this is weird seeing it written, but I think, because I think Jolly, like J O L L Y. I think that's why I was thrown off. I saw the spelling and I was like, what? What is this? Story cards. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Checklist. That's weird. <laughs> that's weird that a checklist is like a special card that you don't get in every pack. But that's good to know because then I can go through and see what I'm missing and then decide if I want to buy more packs. Because I think, weren't these $1.50 each or something? Something like that. I can't really remember. But I'm definitely open to getting more. Here we have Cloppe, Esmeralda again, and we already have this one as well. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Oh wait, we have one more. Ha ha, I thought I was on the last pack. Ha 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 ha, one last pack. Okay. Okay, we got Oh, the gargoyles! That's not too bad. It's one we don't have yet. It's, it's no quasi, but I'll go after quasi in the future. I'll buy more packs of these. Try to collect them all. I'm glad they put all three gargoyles on one because they already have individual gargoyles for the finger puppets, so that's nice. Oh, there goes Frollo. He's like, I don't want to be around these idiots. For the pencil topper, we got Laverne again. <laughs> so he can just go over there. We got some more coins, another cathedral piece. Ooh, club bang puzzle piece, yes. And on the back, a jester of some kind. Jolly again. Victor again. <laughs> Gypsy spirit again, and this one again, and that one again. 
and that one again. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. I'm so, I don't know, this is just fun. It was just a fun thing to do. I like this. I'm probably going to get more of them, even though I'm probably going to get a lot of duplicates going forward, but these were great. And I think my favorite cards are these ones here, just kind of regular cards with stills from the movie. I really, really like those. So yes. Okay. Let's look through here. We've got piece. Okay. There's pieces 76 through 83. So there's eight different ones to collect. I only have six packs, so I for sure have not completed it. We have 82, 79, 81, 80, 82, and 79. So we have two 79s and two 82s. So that means we have four out of the eight cards. And so we have the two bottom ones and two of this second row. Maybe one day we'll complete the cathedral. And I apologize if I've been saying castle at random points instead, because it's not a castle. So I hope you guys thought this was an interesting video. If you want to see more kinds of card pack openings and other toy unboxings, then be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.